Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. I feel like I'm really close to the camera today. Whatever. Um, but today I have for you a video that not a single soul in the world has asked for. Um, but <laughs> I decided to do a dedicated review to The Empress of Salt and Fortune by Ni Vo. If you are new here, or if you just have not been around for the last two months, this is the book I am obsessed with. It is a novella. Um, and I have... Since reading it for the first time in September, I have read it three times now as of this recording. Um, and I just, I just love it so much. It's been a hot minute since I've done a review on my channel. Like, I really love doing these, but I just, like, haven't done one recently. I don't think I've done one since, like, Jade City, maybe? So apologies in advance if this review is, like, a little bit all over the place. Um, also, apologies in advance if you're sick of me talking about this book, but, like... I'm not going to stop talking about it till everyone has read it, so yeah! <laughs> um, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Um, I'm going to start by like attempting to summarize it without giving too much away because this is a novella, so like I don't want to say too much because otherwise I've like covered all 100 pages of it. But in the story we follow our main character, Chi, who is a cleric, kind of like scribe type of figure from the Singing Hills Abbey. Um, and their job is to essentially travel across the land and document stories and history. Um, and they have this like talking bird companion, um, who is really cute too. Um, and then in Empress, we follow Chi um, as they meet a grandmother called Rabbit. And then, and Rabbit in her youth was a handmaiden to the Empress of Salt and Fortune, um, who is kind of the retiring Empress at the beginning of the story. So she is about to retire and pass on to the next empress. And throughout this novella we get to hear Rabbit tell the story um, of her time with the empress. And essentially, like, just to kind of summarize that kind of story, um, without hopefully giving too much away, the empress is uh, someone who comes from the north, um, and she was married to the emperor in the south as kind of like a political alliance of sorts. Without giving too much away, this is kind of a story about her journey from being the wife of the ruler of the South to becoming the Empress of Salt and Fortune and like how she got there. If you did not know already, I love this book. Have I said that already in this video? Um, I've, I've read it three times. I've read it once physically. The first time I read it was like on my ebook um, and then I listened to it twice on audio. Um, and just as a side note, the audiobook is excellent. Um, it's narrated by Cindy Kay, I believe, which I haven't heard any of her other um, audiobooks, but I'm definitely like definitely a narrator I'm keeping an eye out for. I do still personally prefer it physically. Um, just because that's a that's just my personal preference in general for reading and just given her writing style I just feel like for me personally I appreciate um, all the beautiful lines that Nevo has incorporated into the story um, when I read it physically because I have more time and and I'm able to like absorb it better um, but I think in general I think this story the way that it's told because it's like a story within a story I think it works really well as audiobook um so if you are a fan of audiobooks I highly highly recommend this one I think it's like two hours long at like regular speed so like I listen to it on like 1.5 so it's like an hour and a bit so this kind of like brings me I guess to like the first thing that I love about this book and it's one of probably my favorite thing about this um, is it my favorite thing everything's my favorite thing about this book but one of my favorite things about this book is the writing style Nevo's writing is just absolutely stunning like I don't know how else to describe it it's just stunning it's stunning um, but it's like the perfect amount of like lyricalness and and at the same time it doesn't come across as pretentious by comparison like if you've if you've read how to lose a time war um i'd say that was like too lyrical like if you get what i mean like if you've read it i feel like you might know what I mean, um, but I feel like in that book the authors were like trying to be as flowery as possible, almost like at the expense of actually telling the story. Um, and for me, it, like it, it felt pretentious in a way, but with Empress and with Nevo's writing style, I don't feel that way at all. Um, I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like despite it being quite flowery and poetic, it still manages to be like quite humble. For me, I think the best way to describe the writing style and also like the book in general is that the tone is very like soft and gentle and yet there's like a quiet underlying quiet kind of like passion um, behind everything. 
I, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, but I just think it's so brilliantly done, and I just... Ugh. Nevo, Nevo has become an autobi author for me with just one novella. Like I just, I think her writing is just phenomenal. In terms of like themes, because I, I always like to touch on like themes in my reviews, but in terms of themes that this novella touches, obviously as a novella it's pretty short, it's not going to cover like a ton of themes, um, but I think in this novella fundamentally we are exploring um, how history often forgets certain people. In this story in particular we explore how history forgets women, um, and it's it's an incredibly like empowering story about women who've been brushed aside by men and by history and what they've done in order to make their way back into the narrative. And I know that sounds kind of vague, but like I'm also I'm really <laughs> really trying not to give away too too much um, because I think one of the best things is kind of like discovering um, the characters, the world, um, the themes as it unfolds. It does also touch briefly on themes like xenophobia because um, because the empress is a, like a foreign empress so it touches like briefly on that as well um, and I also really like how Nevo in this novella um, tackles like various power dynamics between the different characters. Um, I think that's really interesting and I think she handles it really well um, and I also I just like I had to throw this quote in here somewhere because I think this quote perfectly like encapsulates what this book is about and it's also like it's a, it's a quote that like is floating around has been floating around for marketing and stuff so it's, I don't feel like it's a spoiler or anything um, but it is angry mothers raise daughters fierce enough to fight wolves and that's really like that's just in a sentence what the book is about and if, if that quote alone does not make you want to pick up this novella I don't know what will like I just think that is the most perfectly crafted for sentence in like the English language like I just Am I being dramatic right now? Like a little bit, but like just love it so much, you know? In terms of like character work, I think that's another area where Nevo shines. Um, I just think it's really incredible what she manages to do in such a short number of pages. I feel like she's able to craft characters that are really nuanced and complex um, in just 100 pages. And in all honesty, like the character work here, I think is better than a lot of um, full, net, full length the novels that I've read that are like 300, 400 plus pages. In terms of like relationships, we get the main relationship we get to see is actually Empress and Rabbit's relationship. And I just, I love their relationship so much. Like, <laughs> like there's so many things about it that I love. Like it's, it's very like subtly sapphic. Is it subtle? I don't know. I just feel like it's it's a very sapphic relationship, but it's never like sexual. But it's also just so well crafted in terms of their power dynamic, because obviously like the Empress is the Empress and, and Rabbit is her handmaiden. And yet the way that they navigate those power dynamics is so interesting. Um, and you also, I think, come to love Chi as well, despite them not getting a lot of page time um, because I think the bulk even though like it's it's like interspersed and probably in terms of percentage it's like 60% Empress story and then like 40% Chi but like or maybe like less Chi I don't know there's not too much Chi but like in the short amount of time we get to spend with them we actually get I feel like we get a really good sense of who Chi is like their values their personality um, their dedication to their job and their craft um, and I just I really love them as a character um, obviously I'm a little biased I feel because I have read the second novella at this point so maybe I just do feel like I know Chi a little bit better but based on what I remember feeling after the first time finishing this book I definitely definitely like I, I still stand by what I'm saying I just like Maybe take what I'm saying with like a pinch of salt because I have read this book three times at this point. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I feel like I've gushed about this book enough, and you're probably all sick of me talking about it here and on Twitter. Like I I basically blast this on Twitter like <laughs> once a week, and I'm like, everybody read this book, thank you. <laughs> um, but I just I honestly I just think I just think it's just so incredible what she's able to do in a hundred pages and it's just a stunning novella like in my eyes this is the perfect novella like I often find when I'm reading novellas and like shorter novels that I want them to be longer and I want to spend more time getting to know the characters getting to know the world etc um, but I don't really feel this way at all with Empress don't get me wrong like obviously if Nevo decides to write like 50 spin-off novellas in this world I would like gobble every single one of them up but I just, I feel like by the end of Empress, you're so satisfied with the ending, with the story, with how the relationships, the characters have progressed. And like I said earlier, I just think that Nevo manages to do as much, if not more, both in terms of world building and in character work in a mere like 100 pages 
than some authors do in like 400 plus pages. I just think in terms of like craft, in terms of writing, like it's just excellent writing. Like that's all I have to say about it. Um, hopefully I haven't like overhyped this book to the point where if you do decide to read it, you're like a little disappointed because it didn't live up to expectations. But I just, I really think fundamentally it's just well worth the hour or so that it takes to read it. Also, as of me filming this, the ebook is on sale for $1.99. Full price is like $3.99 so I guess it's not that big of a difference but um, if you are interested at all in it now is the time to pick it up because it is on sale. Also the audiobook is on Scribd so if you either have Scribd or you haven't had Scribd before you can get like a free trial for Scribd if you haven't used it before. It's a pretty accessible story. It's a short story. For me it's such a comfort read. It's so comforting. Rue's read it now and she describes it as like it she says that it reminds her of like her grandmother telling her stories and she was a kid like I don't have that experience so like I didn't <laughs> I didn't personally feel that but I just think it's such a it's it's a very comforting read for sure. I don't know if I said this already but like if it wasn't clear already I, I gave this book a five out of five stars on Goodreads um, and I really do hope you consider picking it up and if you do please do let me know um, I'd love to hear what you think about it um, even if you don't like it I'll be sad but like I, I am definitely interested in seeing what other people's opinions about this book are. Um, and yeah, that's it for today. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Um, let me know if you have already read Empress and how you felt about it, um, or if this review has piqued your interest, so to speak. Um, and yeah, if you like what you saw and you want to see more from me, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I upload every Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. EST. And that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.